The day that the police first arrested us, they announced to us, okay, all you niggers, get up from the lunch counter and, uh, you know, or we're going to arrest you. And their attitude was like, well, we warned you. So they repeated it a couple of times and nobody moved. And, of course, we were prepared for this. So they said, well, we warned you. You won't move. Okay, everybody's under arrest. And then they turned and they looked around at the lunch counter again. And the second wave of students had all taken seats. And they were confounded. They kind of looked at each other like, now what do we do, you know? <laughs> and they said, well, okay, we'll arrest those two. And they did it. And then the third wave. And no matter what they did and how many they arrested, there was still a lunch lunch counter full of students there. You must stop them if you can. Her response was, they're not going to turn back. They're on the way to Birmingham and they'll be there shortly. You know that spiritual, like a tree standing by the water, I will not be moved. She would not be moved. And, and, and I felt my voice go up another decibel and another, and soon I was shouting, young woman, do you understand what you're doing? You're going to get somebody, do you understand you're going to get somebody killed? And there's a pause, and she said, sir, you should know we all signed our last wills and testaments last night before they left. We know someone will be killed, but we cannot let violence overcome nonviolence. That's virtually a direct quote of the words that came out of that child's mouth. Here I am, an official of the United States government representing the President and the Attorney General, talking to a student at Fisk University. And she, in a very quiet but strong way, gave me a lecture. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. And although I experienced segregation there, it was not the overt kind where there were signs on water fountains and on restrooms. It was humiliating. To prepare for the task, Nash attended workshops on the Gandhian philosophy of nonviolence, taught by the Reverend James Lawson. In February 1960, Nash became the leader of the Nashville sit-in movement at downtown lunch counters. Black and white student protesters came dressed in their Sunday's best, ready to go to jail for justice. Soon, mob violence was released on the students. But the brave young protesters stood their ground with dignity and determination, with eyes on the future they kept coming. We want to be arrested today. We're going to try to avoid it. However, we can't go down there fearing. It's wrong to discriminate against a person. Today at the White House, Diane Nash is recognized with the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She was recognized for organizing some of the most important civil rights campaigns of the 20th century, some happening right here in Nashville. She was also a founding member of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, a group credited with organizing sit-ins and freedom rides in the 1960s to protest segregation. Ms. Nash. Mr. Bevel. Diane Nash is this incredibly courageous woman. I mean, at 20, she was able to make the Attorney General of the United States call and say, who the hell is Diane Nash? Because she was creating such a stir. Sit in to another, there were these, there were mm, maybe five or six young white guys with the leather jackets who were exactly the kind who would attack us. One of them said to his friend, that's Diane Nash. She's the one to get. And I became just overcome with fear. And so for the next few minutes, I realized that my mind was on my own fear instead of on what I was doing, preventing me from being effective. So I decided to give myself a time limit. And I said, at the end of that time period, 
I'm talking to myself now. <laughs> At the end of that time period, I will either have gotten myself together enough so that I can do my job well, or I'm going to go back to the church, which was our headquarters, and resign. And so, at the end of that time, I was able to get it together, and I was able to function. <laughs>